Get up and running with your first Angular 2 application and new tools to speed up your workflow. I'm Rob Dodson. This is Lazy Web. Get an early look at Angular 2 in this short tutorial. Alex Eagle from the Angular team demonstrates how to build a to-do list combining the latest from Angular with Firebase, a back-end service for storing real-time data. The video also highlights working with TypeScript and Microsoft's new Visual Studio Code Editor. Addy and Matt show off some of their fancy sublime tricks in the new Totally Tooling Tips series. Episode 1 covers linters like JS Hint and JSCS for code style, managing colors in your app with Code Highlighter and Color Picker, and autocomplete tools for file names and CSS prefixes. You can catch Totally Tooling Tips every other week on the Google Developers YouTube channel. I'm Mark Marin, and Mark Marin and James Mickens from Microsoft demonstrate a new feature in the F12 developer tools that adds the ability to step backwards through your program. The debugger uses an efficient snapshotting technique of the JavaScript runtime to keep overhead down, so that way it can run as you work without significantly impacting performance. Leave yourself a note with this voice recorder for the mobile web. Paul Lewis details the process of building a material design voice recorder using features like Recorder.js for waveforms and Babelify for ES6. The post takes an honest look at issues still faced by the web when it comes to building applications. If you want to check out the source, it's available now on GitHub. DevTips Daily highlights a new film strip view which displays snapshots of your site as it was loading. Based on a similar feature from Web Page Test, the tool helps developers determine when their site is first usable and cut down on render blocking assets. To try the feature yourself, you'll need to download a copy of Chrome Canary. Okay, even then. Jake and Paul return for Season 2 of HTTP 203. Season 2 begins with a brief discussion of Jake's impending demise, Paul grows a beard, and somewhere in the middle they rehash the age-old debate of web versus native. If you have a few minutes to kill, or just want to feel better about your suntan, tune into this season of HTTP 203 on the Google Developers YouTube channel. That's it for this week, folks. Take a deep breath, enjoy the visuals, and to all you lazy webbers out there, thanks for watching.